I got to tell you. <laughs> Difficult. Thank you for not rushing the gates, my dogs. They usually, they do. So, uh, Miss Abby and Miss Maddie have taken to this yard faster than I ever saw two dogs take to a yard. We got everything out of the truck. But these two are already defending this place like it's theirs. It is, so. <laughs> anyway. Uh, wanted to show you something real quick. This is the pro tip of the century. I do believe. Oh man, come on. It's windy here. What do you expect out of some place called Twister City? <laughs> anyway, uh, I wanted to show you this real quick. So, uh, what you do? When you do go. hook that so the wind doesn't blow the door when you do go to flee california or move wherever you're going to move to from however abf offers a service called upac you get a trailer they call it a 27 foot trailer it's it's 26 we uh we put these doors in to this very end i'll show you some pictures of that in here uh, you get the trailer, you get the whole thing top to bottom. And here's here's the deal with this. Uh, if you go to Penske, it's going to cost you like $9,800 to rent a truck to go from, and, and I'm just going to give you the two cities, from Bakersfield, California to Wichita, Kansas, it's going to cost you about $9,800, 9, $9,500, something like that. It's, it's over $9,000, okay? That's just to rent the truck. That's not the insurance so that if it catches on fire, I don't have to pay anything. That's not the fuel. That's not your time driving it. That's straight up. That is just the truck rental. U-Haul was a little over 10,000. It was almost, okay. So, um, you call, uh, you go through the website for this. Gotta love that win. You go through the website for this and, uh, it's it's called U Pack U Pack and uh, ABF runs it. They bring you one of these trailers. They drop it at your house. You've got three days. My suggestion is schedule it for uh, a Thursday. The reason is uh, this company does not operate on the weekends, so they give you three days to load it. There's the information right there. They give you three days to load it. That's three business days. So that's not that's not three days three days that's three business days so if it shows up on thursday that day doesn't count okay friday counts saturday sunday don't count monday tuesday count <laughs> got five days if it shows up early in the morning on the day the first day when it gets there it doesn't count so uh this truck out the door said and done cost me a little under forty three hundred dollars $4,300 and that is because I filled it to the absolute end uh, what they do is they will quote you that for the trailer okay you fill it up halfway say uh, say to the 14 foot the contract will tell you they don't charge you that full $4,000 they charge you I think it's like $87 uh, per foot that you don't use what you do is this door, and I think I've got pictures, I'll roll them in here. This door goes in the thing, and the way the braces work on the back, the way these uh, pipes work, it locks the thing in. It's like load lockers, but it's got a plywood uh, door built into it. You put the thing up, they only charge you for the space you use, because this truck, this trailer goes on, It's this is set up for tandems, see? They can tow two of these trailers at a time. So whatever space you don't use, this trailer it could take 11, 15 days to get to where you're at. They give you a time frame, right? 
uh, what they do is they load it up with freight. It goes into their regular freight circulation. So you only use, you only pay for the space you use. If you only use half, you know it's going to be considerably less. You might only pay you know twenty eight hundred bucks to put all your stuff in this truck. Now we filled it up to the top, all the way to the eighteen foot mark. And then we had the motorcycles and then other stuff, and it wasn't all the way to the top, but I, you know, I couldn't do that. Okay. So I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, <laughs> I could not, uh, I couldn't pile more stuff on top of the motorcycle. I'm going to wreck the Harley like that. It's worth, you know, five or 800 bucks to me to not wreck the Harley, which I didn't. We got it down. I got to ride it yesterday. Check this out. Oh, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> got to ride the Harley downtown. Since I got here, I've been just dying to ride a motorcycle downtown. I got a gal that cut my hair, and she did just absolute perfect haircut. And then I went to her again right before I went to Bakersfield, and she absolutely butchered it. I can't do anything with it. I can't, I, I've have been having to wear a ball cap. It's just horrible. Anyway, i probably give her one more chance to... <laughs> anyway use the thing up uh use the whole thing it's, it's like 4300 bucks and then it goes into their freight system you drive your car back fly back whatever you want to do you're not driving a 26 foot penske truck we got to do that right now right you're not driving a 26 foot penske truck you're not putting gas in it at 10 miles to the gallon uh, later on in another video i will go over uh my fuel cost getting the dodge back I averaged probably 12 miles to the gallon in the truck. Uh, at first I was only doing like 10 and 11, and then I got it up to 14. There was one leg of the journey downhill coming out of Colorado where uh, I got 17 miles to the gallon, but that's downhill with the wind at my back. So the truck was heavily overloaded. Uh, <clears throat> but the thing is, is you, you can drive the family vehicle back in comfort stand, hotels, whatever, especially with the money you're saving not going with U-Haul. I'm going to tell you, uh, every step of the way, anytime I ask for help, anytime I ask questions, I could call the office at the local ABF freight yard and uh, they would answer my questions and they would, they helped me out every step of the way. We had this thing so full, like say to the end, the ramp wouldn't fit in there. So they sent another truck to come pick the ramp up. The ramp uh, belongs to the local yard. It doesn't belong to the, it doesn't stay on the truck. So uh, they ask you not to pack it inside of the stuff or they charge you a hefty fee for that because then they have to ship it back. So, uh, but the thing is, is everybody I talked to from ABF, their website was easy to use. Everybody I talked to on the phone was m more than polite. They were more than courteous. They were more than willing to help solve whatever problem I had going on. And a lot of it was just me being dumb. I, I read the contract start to finish, but I still kind of missed some points on it. Okay. I, I got brand new lenses when I was in Bakersfield on my regular glasses. And uh, I put them in the Harley saddlebags to go on that ride, and I wrecked them. So I'm talking to Matt at Ken's Optical, get some new, uh, new lenses again. Maybe some whole new glasses. Anyway, yeah. Uh, that's why I'm wearing my old, 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 old stuff. But anyway, uh, this this here is the way to go to hell with Penske and to hell with U-Haul. I'll tell you something that really annoys me. I know for a fact they're having trouble getting trucks back into California. They're 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 going through heck. Everybody's leaving California. Of course they are. You know. Um, the thing is, is, I called them and I like, hey, I offered. I can drive one of your trucks back and leave it in California. That way you don't have to pay anybody. You don't have to put me on payroll or anything. You just, just let me drive the truck, you know. Uh, I didn't want to fly. If I could help it, I didn't want to fly. Well, I ended up flying. And I didn't appreciate that. And uh, they wanted to charge me the full rental on the truck to do that. And I'm, Come on. You, you need that. I'm offering to do it. Oh, no. No, no. Yeah, well, okay, whatever. Screw you. I'll never use U-Haul again, you know, unless it's just around town type of thing. If it's just right here around town, I need it. Uh, I'll go around a trailer or something, haul it behind the Dodge. Uh, but if you're making a big move, guys, I uh, heavily, heavily suggest that you do not use U-Haul or Penske. Don't drive that truck yourself. You don't have to. 
get on the phone with uh, ABF and this UPAC system, get on, go online, get a quote. These trailers are awesome. Uh, I got the way we packed it, I got almost no damage to any of my furniture. Um, there was some bouncing and shaking going on. These trucks don't have the best suspension in the world, okay? So don't expect it's going to be perfect. Uh, we put a blanket in next to the back wheel on the Harley, and when it got here, the blanket was underneath the wheel, the back wheel on the Harley. The, these things bounce around a bit, so you've got to pack them right. That's up to you. That's, that's your responsibility. Um, the insurance, you, you look at the insurance, read it because if you put something expensive in here that's not going to be covered if you put your vehicle in here like I did with the Harley they talk about uh, getting rid of the flammable fluids out of it all that stuff it's really important you actually do that and understand that your vehicle policy probably won't cover the motorcycle you know and uh, their thing probably won't cover it either uh, we put some stuff in here probably shouldn't have put in here it wouldn't have been covered but I didn't have any other way to do it safely, I didn't think, and it worked out, it worked out for me. So, um, whatever you're doing, if you're doing a big move, especially if you're getting out of California, I'm telling you, this right here is the way to go. This is this is something else. They were great. The price is half, it's less than half. It's less than half. Uh, it's less than half of what U-Hauls was, so. Anyway, that's it. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna be making a video kind of covering our trip out here, getting uh, getting away from California. I'm gonna try to make it all one video if I can. There's some really great footage across in the country. I absolutely love Colorado. Absolutely love Kansas. Kansas is beautiful. Oh, Kansas is flat. No, it's not. It really isn't. Uh, you got stuff like this everywhere. That wind. <laughs> so, um, it just, it was a fantastic drive. It was a good trip. Uh, we actually kind of had a little bit of fun doing it. The dogs rode with me. The kids rode with mom. I think she got the short end of the stick. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, me and the boys just got this offloaded. If uh, you're going to do that, I highly recommend this. I highly recommend getting out of California. You guys have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one.